You're going to love this. Trust me, what you're seeing now is my normal state. Welcome, I'm Spaghetti King, and this is I Trust You, But by Mindfulness ASMR. Mindfulness, Mindfulness, Mindfulness ASMR. Who I've been watching for a while, but I haven't really covered it all because it's kind of, you know, one of those things where it's like you have that channel that like uploads daily, so like the weight of each upload is kind of less. So you don't really have that one thing you want to like pick out and review and cover. You're just, you're just kind of like, hmm. So I was like, hmm. What do I want to do for this? Make a channel recommend or something? But no. This is this is deserving of it. So we're reviewing this right now. Okay, mindfulness. So this uh, probably will be back to back with another audio that's kind of similar by Girlfriend Audios uh, that came out recently. So I think they'll be kind of like a back to back. They'll be kind of like similar of this like jealous girlfriend did you cheat on me kind of thing so anyway i think this one's actually better by the way uh so to begin uh it starts with you getting home and uh, she's all like oh while well, you're here uh you know have you had a good day <laughs> you know yeah this kind of thing and you know she's like yeah did that sound kind of mean yeah well i've seen you with this woman and uh, you've been going out to eat, and then I talked to the guys, and they said that you've been showing up regularly and whatnot. Okay, it's not it's not that it's not that quick. Okay, there's there's more su uh, setup to that. There's around a minute of setup, I would say something like that, where she's kind of like implying it very slowly and whatnot. Uh, this nice build up to that, uh, which is very nice, because you have this kind of shy feeling you get from her, where. She wants, because again, the title is I Trust You, but, so, she wants to assume the best of you, she doesn't want to, like, make a bad implication of you, uh, yes, yeah, so you say that, you know, you came home from work and whatnot, and she's like, oh, well, you didn't actually go to work today, you called in, uh, and you've been coming home really late every night and whatnot, and, uh, you know, she did some uh, detective work, and uh, she comes to, uh, you know, her realization that you were out with some woman for the past week. Apparently, this is, this is very suspect. And uh, she says that she didn't want to believe it because she's an idiot, and she always trusts you, and, you know, she... she she basically had this very good faith in you, and uh, she didn't let that, that let that go. Which, number one, we appreciate very much. Uh, we love that stuff. Uh, but, you know, number two... You now then she says that... I'm not going to cry. You don't deserve my tears. Eh. <laughs> uh, you know, which is... Um, that, that, that moment did kind of hurt a bit, because it was like... Uh, uh, you know, like... Um, <laughs> Because it was like, oh, come on, you know, it's like, you're not even sad enough to, like, cry for me? Nah, well, that's how it goes. I mean, it, it is true, it is true, because, you know, if I did cheat in reality, then, you know, uh, give me the death penalty or something. At the at bare minimum, auto-divorce. I guess that's what the Ten Commandments say. The Ten Commandments say, auto-divorce in case of cheating. I wouldn't mind a stricter punishment, uh, personally, but, uh, you know, in this case, what happens is that... But then you say it's for a good cause. You see, it's for it's for a good cause. Um, and then you know she's like, oh well, you know, what do you mean by that? No, no, no. And you you go on to explain that it was for her birthday. It's for her birthday is apparently what this is about. Uh, so for a month, I guess you've been going out with this woman for her birthday or something like that. It's not really explained uh, what you mean by this, apparently, and she even says, well, you know, what if this present that you said is for me is actually, you actually gave it to her? Nah, I can't, uh, you know, you aren't giving me the evidence here and whatnot. Um, and, you know, from there, it's pretty much the same where she says, you know, I want to believe you, and, but, you know, now you suddenly... I've been thinking all day of how you could have been doing things to hurt me. You've been, you've been cheating on me, and whatnot, and then I'm supposed to suddenly switch and think this is okay. Uh, and then she's kind of like all hooped up and whooped up, and uh, you know she's kind of like, okay, well I'm just, gonna, you know, 
go to bed, uh, I love you, but not, and it kind of ends on that note, it's not really, it doesn't really end with like a forgiven kind of thing, granted it does end with like a better implication, uh, that like you explain it to her, but I'm not really sure if things were forgiven by the end of the day <laughs> in that case, I'm not exactly sure, uh, you know, it, it is how it goes. So that's pretty much the summary though. Um, yeah, you know, so, so in the case of that, it's um, it's quite simple. Pretty much you have like four points. You have you get home, you have uh, her questioning you, you have the whole moment where she explains why she had doubt, then you explain, and then that's the end of it for the most part. Um, now, let's see, if I, if, I, if I could add in any critiques, um, I was going to say originally that I thought the motivation could be better, but upon thinking about it, I think it's pretty much fine. I mean, like I said, it's pretty much explained to you perfectly what she feels, what she feels. Uh, it's perfectly understandable because she's been seeing you away, you don't tell her why, and you're with some woman or whatever, very suspect. You explain the reason, but you know until then it's not very clear why she felt what she did. It's not very very clear why you were doing what you're doing, and therefore she felt what she did because of that, right? So yeah, that's pretty much fine. So you know, no need to be harsh when, uh, <laughs> but there's no reason to be, right? So you know that's good. Obviously, I don't have anything to critique with the art because mindfulness just has this like white screen with text and whatnot. Um. Yeah, but I think that's really all I have to say, because the, char the character motivation is, like, very, very clear as it goes. So, I really don't have much to say than what I've said, so, you know. Um, okay, well, I get one thing I could say is how she spoke and whatnot. I thought it was very good. I thought it was better than normal. I found her particularly cute today. I usually don't find mindfulness, like, particularly cute, like one of the cuter ones. But today, I found her super cute. I don't know what was, I don't know what it was, but I was like, oh, yeah. Uh, I, I thought this was a really cute one, uh, the way she was talking, and then she was, you know, giving her little moments of doubt and whatnot, and like, oh, I, I want to believe you and whatnot. I, I don't know what it was, but it was just different <laughs> from what I normally get out of mindfulness. It was this deeper kind of impact going on here. So, so I was enjoying that. Um, I mean, granted, a lot of cases, mindfulness has kind of uh, negative... I don't want to say negative, but you know what I mean, like, critiquing kind of videos where she's critiquing something about you, or, or something like that, in a lot of cases, sometimes not, sometimes she has this, like, very, like, a good faith, loyal, oh, I love you so much kind of stuff, it depends on how it goes, but I found you'll, you'll find more Sundre stuff, jealous girlfriend stuff, you'll find a lot of that on uh, mindfulness, but yeah, in this case, uh, I found it, like, particularly good faith, uh, you know, on that end, and yeah, character motivation, clear, good, and yeah, progression on that end is all good. So that's all I'll add on on that. So, you know, I'll wrap it up with uh, the rating. A second here. Uh, all right. Audio, 5 out of 5. Wholesome rating, 10 out of 10. Overall rating, 9 out of 10. Rank legend. And yeah. Uh, the only thing I could say that would possibly hold it back from a 10 would be that it didn't really have, like, super memorable quips or anything like that. It's more of the structure is just great, and the execution is great. Uh, you know what I mean? But, yeah. So, there you go. Excellent. I do love uh, mindfulness. Uh, hopefully I can do more uh, in the future. Very good. Spaghetti King approves. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Spaghetti King. I love you all, and farewell.